Remembering the life of a seven-year-old who died from an inoperable brain tumor, Maya Dronka would have been 10 years old today. She always wanted to be a doctor and not just any doctor. She wanted to fight cancer at Mayo Clinic, just like her mom. Well, today in her memory, her parents are hosting the first Dancing with the Doctors to raise money to fund childhood cancer research. Dr. Roxana Dronka joins us this morning and thank you so much uh, for being here and talking to us about this. Thank you very much for having me. And we know today in her memory, um, you guys are hosting the first Dancing with the Doctors to raise money to fund childhood cancer research. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, the Maya Dronka Foundation was uh, created by my husband, Sherban Dronka, and I in honor and loving memory of Maya, who passed away at age seven, as you mentioned, from an inoperable brain tumor. So today she would have been 10 years old and the foundation is holding the first fundraising benefit, Dancing with the Doctor. It's an event featuring a dance competition where local doctors are paired with professional dance uh, instructors. And just like Dancing with the Stars, a panel of judges and the audience will help um, choose the best dancing doctor. The, the event is being uh, done in partnership with All About Ballroom Studio in Fruit Cove. And so far, through online voting, the foundation has raised more than $200,000. And we hope today, during the live competition, to help raise a lot more dollars. The All proceeds will go to the Maya Dronka Foundation and to our mission of funding life-saving research to help prevent, intercept, and treat pediatric cancer and give every child a chance to a happy, cancer-free life. That is incredible. And I know there's so many obstacles that doctors face when trying to cure pediatric cancer. Let's talk a little bit about that. What are some of those challenges? Well, I would say first is that we do not know the cause of childhood cancer. You know, in many adult cancers that I treat, um, many are attributed to either environmental or lifestyle, fac lifestyle factors that we can pinpoint and address with childhood cancer, this is not the case. And many times um, environmental and lifestyle factors do not play a role in young people. And changes in the cancer, in the cancer's DNA or mutations are often attributed to being the cause of childhood cancer. And we know this is really personal for you and I see you getting emotional here. I mean, tell me what your journey has been like and if you have any messages for families who are going through that right now. It's been a very difficult journey. You know, I um, transitioned from being an oncologist to being an oncologist, a mother, a caregiver, a patient advocate. Um, I've always been a very compassionate oncologist and close to my patients, but this journey has made me understand a lot more about what our cancer patients face and what their families and caregivers face. So I feel that this has made me a better doctor and a better human being. And right now I am trying to advocate through my work as well as through the work of this foundation for raising money to help scientists discover new cures and end cancer as we know it. And outside of the event, how can people come and show support for the foundation? A lot of people are volunteering for the foundation. I think it is important not only to raise dollars, but raise awareness for the cause of pediatric cancer. Pediatric cancer is underfunded. Um, while there are about 100 clinical trials open at any time that treat childhood cancer. For adult cancers, there are approximately 10,000 clinical trials open. So I think we have a lot of work to do and a long road ahead. And any way that people can help volunteer or donate is welcome. Dr. Dronka, thank you so much. Thank you very much for having me.